mentioned this term to me. I didn't know about it until you said it, but there's venture capitalists and there's vulture capitalists. The, the actual term is called leverage buyouts. And so when you start seeing leverage buyouts, like get this, um, they will uh, look at a company and they will, uh, take, they, they will take over that company. I call it toxic takeover. The, the, the leverage buyout is just a nice way of saying it's a toxic takeover. Um, if it's a, let's say they're investing 10 million into this $1 million company. They will actually go get a high risk loan from a bank for 9 million. And they will take 1 million of their own cash and give the company 10 million. What they do is they take that entire debt, that $9 million debt, and they put it on the books of the company that they bought. Then they keep their own separate books and they take all the profit each year and put it on their books and they don't show any of the debt. And they're using their books to show returns over about three years. All they need is about three years of returns and, they, and then it doesn't matter what happens to the company. So it's like getting a, it's like getting a, a loan for a Ferrari, putting, giving your friend the debt and then you driving the Ferrari the whole time, right? The owners of the companies that are getting bought think that they're getting this kickstart. Four years goes by and it starts to implode. And the only people that get hurt are the customers, and the employees. An obligation to understand your problems, to understand what it is that you're doing and do your research too. All of this that Chad's talking about is available. If you can go and you can look at just about everybody's website and you'll figure out who their investors are. It's really easy. It's listed. They're listed somewhere. You can figure out who these backers are and then go look at those backers. Those backers have track records.